Hey there, science fans. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of solar load modeling, specifically in ANSYS Fluent. This software is super cool because it lets engineers simulate how the sun's rays affect buildings and vehicles. We're talking about keeping things comfortable inside, whether it's your house or your car. Imagine you're designing a building. You want to make sure the sun doesn't turn it into an oven, right? That's where ANSYS Fluent comes in. It helps us understand how sunlight will heat up different parts of the building. This way, architects and engineers can design smarter buildings that are energy efficient and comfortable to be in, ANSYS. Fluent uses something called the solar load model to do this. It's like a virtual sun that shines on your digital model. By simulating the sun's rays, we can figure out the best ways to keep things cool and comfy inside. Pretty neat, huh? Now you might be wondering, how does it work? Well, the solar load model uses some fancy math and physics to calculate how much solar radiation hits different surfaces. It takes into account things like the time of day, the season, and even the location of the building. This allows for really accurate simulations that help us design better buildings. So, whether you're designing a skyscraper or just trying to understand how to keep your bedroom cool in the summer, the solar load model, in ANSYS Fluent, is a powerful tool that helps us harness the power of the sun. Stay tuned as we explore its features and learn how to use it. Okay, science enthusiasts, let's break down some of the awesome features that make the solar load model so powerful. First off, this model is all about being flexible and realistic. It can handle three-dimensional models, which means we can simulate real-world buildings and objects with complex shapes. And guess what? It works for both steady and unsteady simulations. Steady state is like looking at the average sunlight over a day, while unsteady lets us see how things change throughout the day as the sun moves across the sky. This is super important for understanding how temperatures fluctuate inside a building. Now, let's talk about compatibility. This model plays nicely with other features in ANSYS Fluent, like the ones that simulate airflow and heat transfer. This means we can create really comprehensive simulations that take into account all sorts of factors that affect indoor climate. But wait, there's more. The solar load model also lets us define specific parameters, like the date, time, and geographical location. We can even account for things like atmospheric conditions and the reflectivity of different materials. Talk about attention to detail. Get ready to dive deeper into the science behind the solar load model. This model gives us two powerful options for simulating solar radiation, solar ray tracing, and discrete ordinates, DO, irradiation. Let's start with solar ray tracing. Think of it like this. Imagine little rays of light shooting out from the sun and bouncing around your model. That's essentially what this method does. It tracks individual rays of light as they interact with surfaces, giving us a very detailed picture of how sunlight affects a building. On the other hand, we have discrete ordinates, DO, irradiation. This method is more like dividing the sunlight into beams and calculating how much energy each beam carries. It's a bit less computationally intensive than ray tracing and still provides accurate results for many applications. So which one should you use? Well, it depends on your specific needs. Ray tracing is great for complex geometries and situations where you need super high accuracy. Do irradiation is a good choice for faster simulations, especially when dealing with simpler models. All right, science buddies, let's get our hands dirty and learn how to set up the solar load model in ANSYS Fluent. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. First things first, we need to activate the model. You'll find it under the radiation model option in the setup. Once you've enabled it, it's time to choose your method, solar ray tracing or do irradiation. Next up, we need to tell ANSYS Fluent where the sun is. This means inputting the date, time and location of our project. Remember, accuracy is key. Now let's talk about boundary conditions. These tell ANSYS Fluent how different surfaces in our model will interact with sunlight. For example, a window will transmit some light, reflect some and absorb the rest. We can define all of these properties for each material and that's the basics. Of course, there are more advanced settings and options available, but this should get you started with using the solar load model. Section 5, Advanced Parameters and Text User Interface. Hold on to your lab coats because we're about to explore some of the more advanced features of the solar load model. 
While the graphical user interface, or GUI, is super user-friendly, ANSYS Fluent also gives us access to a treasure trove of additional parameters through the text user interface, or TUI. Think of the TUI as the command line for ANSYS Fluent, where you can fine-tune your simulations with surgical precision. For example, you can adjust the solar constant, which is the amount of solar energy that reaches the Earth's atmosphere. You can also tweak atmospheric parameters like turbidity, which affects how much sunlight is scattered by particles in the air. Now, why would you want to mess with these parameters? Well, let's say you're simulating a solar panel installation. By adjusting the solar constant and atmospheric conditions, you can accurately predict the panel's performance under different weather scenarios. Pretty cool, right? But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. It's important to have a good understanding of these parameters before you start tweaking them willy-nilly. Always consult the ANSYS Fluent documentation and maybe even talk to an expert if you're unsure about something. Section 6. Advantages and limitations of the solar load model. Like any scientific tool, the solar load model in ANSYS Fluent has its strengths and weaknesses. Let's start by shining a light on its advantages. First and foremost, it allows us to accurately simulate the effects of solar radiation on our designs. This is crucial for optimizing building energy efficiency, designing effective shading devices, and even predicting the performance of solar energy systems. Another big plus is its integration with other ANSYS Fluent modules. This means we can create holistic simulations that account for airflow, heat transfer, and other factors that influence indoor climate. However, it's important to be aware of the limitations. One thing to keep in mind is that the accuracy of the simulation depends on the accuracy of the input data. If you're not careful with things like material properties, location data, and time settings, your results might not be reliable. Additionally, complex simulations can be computationally expensive, especially if you're using the solar ray tracing method. This means you'll need a powerful computer and a bit of patience. Section 7, Real World Applications, Case Studies. Time to see the solar load model in action. Let's look at some real world case studies to understand how it's being used to solve problems and improve designs. Imagine you're designing a car. You don't want passengers to feel like they're baking in an oven on a sunny day, right? Car manufacturers use the solar load model to simulate how sunlight heats up the car's interior. This helps them design better air conditioning systems and choose materials that reflect sunlight, keeping the cabin cool and comfortable. Architects use the solar load model to optimize the design of office buildings. By simulating how sunlight enters through windows, they can determine the best placement for shading devices, reduce glare on computer screens, and minimize the need for artificial lighting. This not only improves occupant comfort, but also saves energy. These are just a couple of examples of how the solar load model is making a real difference in various fields. From keeping us cool in our cars to designing more energy efficient buildings, this tool is helping us harness the power of the sun while minimizing its negative impacts. Section 8, Conclusion. Well, there you have it, science explorers. We've journeyed through the ins and outs of the solar load model in ANSYS Fluent. We've learned how it works, explored its features, and even seen it in action in real-world applications. As our world faces increasing energy demands and climate challenges, tools like the solar load model are becoming more important than ever. By accurately simulating the effects of solar radiation, we can design better buildings, vehicles, and even entire cities that are more energy efficient, sustainable, and comfortable for everyone. So whether you're an engineer, an architect, or just someone who's curious about the world around us, remember the power of simulation. It allows us to explore different possibilities, test new ideas, and ultimately create a brighter future for all. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and never stop learning.